everybody, Courtney here with Space Fly Box, and we are going to be going over July's Intermediate Fly Tying Box, which is the Chernubby. This is just a smaller size chubby Chernobyl. It's a great little um, high floating pattern that works super effectively throughout the summer. It works great as a dry dropper situation as well. I'm going to start my thread just behind the hook eye, and I'm going to wrap back to my tie-in point, which is just here before the bend of the hook. Maybe just slightly into the bend. First uh, material we're going to tie in is just our pearl crystal flash. And I found on these smaller chubby Chernobyls, you don't need a ton of flash on the butt end of it. You can put as much as you want in, I guess. This is just my own little thing. But usually smaller the fly, less materials. So I'm just going to put in just a few here. And I can trim these in the future. I'm just going to roll my thread just lo uh, loosely up and over to the top of the hook and as I come down that back side I can pull and that'll bring all of that flash to the center and up on top of your hook. And I'm just going to wrap this flash into my hook, into my body. Just make sure none of that's going to pull out on us. Trim that out. And then here I'm going to leave my thread up here at the front. And I'm just going to start with just a really light base of dubbing here. So we don't need a lot. But I like to start building up this body with the dubbing. So on this one I'm just using this golden Antron dubbing. Make kind of a little golden stone type here. We'll roll that on really tight. I don't want a really shaggy bug here. I want to keep this dubbing fairly tight. You can see it's pretty light. I'm going to thicken that up as we go here in the future steps. I'm going to come back just right here, just right at the tail. And then we're going to bring our thread forward just slightly so we're basically even with the hook point. So now what I've done is I've just cut out a rectangle of brown two millimeter foam. And this is typically the rule of thumb is if you're going to cut it out, we're going to have it about the width of the hook gap. And this is slightly th uh, thicker. It's about the uh, width of the entire hook from the gap up to the top of the hook shank, which is okay for this pattern, I think. Gives a little more buoyancy and looks a little more full. You can use a, a punch if you have a hopper punch or something like that you want to use. I'm going to lay this right on top of the hook shank, just nice and straight. One loose wrap up and over. Two and three. So we're just going to bind that down really tight with three or four good tight wraps. And next we're going to tie in our wing. So this is just our uh, gray poly yarn wing. Um, super buoyant, stands out really well, nice and straight. It's got a little crinkle to it. it, looks really good in the water. As far as on these wings, if you can kind of see, that's about how much I use there. So if you twist it all up, it's maybe two millimeters in thickness, about the same as the foam. That gives you an idea and on a bigger pattern i might use a little bit more i'm just gonna basically just split this the difference here in half and we'll trim it at the end here but i'm gonna bring my thread up and over bind that down nice and tight there on top of my foam with my left hand i'll pull that yarn back and i'm gonna make just a little bump if i push forward just slightly my thread can come back over and capture the rest of that wing that way that's locked in there nice and secure it's not going to slip out on you this would be a great spot too if you wanted to put a little drop of super glue just right down in there to really hold that in and then from here we're just going to take a little bit more dubbing now and i'm just going to cover up this little area here where i got that wing tied in i'm not going to get super picky about it trying to cover up all that yarn because it's super easy to bulk this fly up with too much dubbing and I like to try to avoid that. So let's add a little bit more. Now basically I'm just avoiding any uh, thread path. I don't want to be able to see my thread wraps as I go forward here. So I'm actually going to lift this foam up, do a couple of wraps directly right at the base of that foam, and then just bring it forward to my last tie-in point here. And then I'll bring my thread up and over that foam. We're basically right behind the eye. Got a little bit of a gap there to leave for a whip finish. 
and this is where we're going to finish the fly off. So I'm going to use the same amount of yarn. And I'll place that just like I did on the back half, right on top. I'm going to pull it back with my left and just push it forward just slightly, just creating a little tiny bump in that wing. Just a few wraps right there. I'll trim that at the end. And I'm gonna take a little piece of this orange indicator yarn and I've cut, I've split that in half. So I pulled it, the strand out of the bag and just basically stripped it in half. I'm gonna place that on my wing. Again, I'm gonna just bind that down with a few good tight wraps. And you can fold this over too. Catch the rest of that orange yarn. And then here I'm just going to use these reptile legs and this brown and gold just to match this coloration of this fly. And I'm going to tie that right to the side of the foam here. And I've made this long enough that I can just bring this other side around. I'm just going to slip it between the thread and my foam and just hold it right in place and then wrap it around. And then I can trim my legs out and reposition them as I need. And then we're ready for our last step. Just a little bit of dubbing here to cover all that mess up. So from here, I'm just going to bring my thread up. I'm just going to go right behind that eye. Right in front of the foam there. And then we can whip finish. And then we're almost done. So now it's just time for trimming everything up. So I'm just going to reposition these legs down to the side. Trim those out just so they're all even. I'll take this foam, just cut it straight across, and then the back foam as well. I'm just going to cut him. I just like to cut my wings on an angle. Just so you have a nice puffy wing there that's going to ride really high. Floats really well. You can put a dropper off of that thing and it's not going to sink on you. So great little summertime pattern. Works well. Um, I like it especially just as a smaller, uh, smaller profile. I think just a little more enticing for fish than all the big blocky stuff they usually see so I'll give them something smaller so let us know how you do with it and type a bunch